There is a lot of furniture inside this storefront in Milton. It's the new headquarters of Dig Furniture Bank. Emily Gorski started Dig about three years ago out of her home in Lewisburg. As the nonprofit grew, she expanded to a storage facility in Mifflinburg. But Dig outgrew that space too. Recently, Gorski and her volunteers moved to Front Street in Milton, a space nearly five times bigger. Moving a furniture bank is about, it's very similar to moving about 30 houses at once, so it was a huge undertaking. The concept is simple. It's like a food bank, but with furniture. Dig serves people in Snyder Union in Northumberland counties. Clients are referred through other nonprofits, schools, and churches. Last week, Dig held its grand reopening in its new building. Gorski says the biggest change is now people will be able to pick out their own furniture. The previous spaces were too small for that, so volunteers would choose items for clients. DIG stands for dignity and we really believe in the dignity that can be provided when you have the power to select things and ab an abundance of things for your home, for your living quarters, which is such a personal and unique space for you. A lot of times clients ask if they get to come and like pick out the couch that they're getting and we have to say no up until this point, um, but I know they're going to be really excited to come in and pick out the decor and the blankets and things for their kids that they really like. The new space will also feature a retail store, which will be open to the public. Gorski plans to open that next month. For more information about Dig Furniture Bank, head to our website, WNEP.com. Nikki Cries, Newswatch 16, Northumberland County.